Hey guys, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and today I have for review the tuna knobs from Tuna DJ Gear. Now these are stick-on knobs that you can use with your touchscreen device, such as an iPad, Android tablet, or mobile phone, and they give you physical controls that you can use whenever you're using an app. And the apps that these are compatible with are listed here at the back of the box. Now we're gonna use one of the apps here uh, called Lemur. I have a template on it called Mixer, which interfaces with Tractor Pro Run on my Mac. So let's get to it. Let's see how this works. All right, guys, so we're going to try out these tuna knobs. I've got my mixer template running on Lemur on my iPad, which is connected to my iMac running Tractor Scratch Pro. So over here at Assign 2, these are my rotaries that have control over Tractor's filter. As you can see, it's moving. I'm using my finger. So let's see how it works with a tuna knob. Let's stick one over here. Uh, let me just show you this real quick. Here's a suction cup at the bottom of the knob. Here's your stylus. And yeah, let's try it out. Stick it, press down, and press the top of the knob to make it connect. OK, that's done. Now I can turn the knob, and you can see it registers some movements. Now I just want to show you this real quick. Uh, at the bottom of the knob, there is a gap between the base and the touch screen. So sometimes when you turn the knob and you don't press down, it doesn't register as a movement on the rotaries. So one way to work around this is to press down on the knob while you're turning it. There you go. So that's all there is to it. Uh, one problem that I encountered with do, uh, while doing this was if I press down too hard, sometimes uh, the knob moves away from the original position that I stuck it on. So I have to move it back and yeah, center it. So just make sure that when you're turning this knob, you do just apply a small amount of pressure. Not too much, because uh, if, if you do it too much, well, it's just going to make the knob move away. So yeah, let's try it with some music. Let me just play a track here. Turn the knob. Filter move. OK, that's good. All right. Awesome, so it works as expected. So that's pretty cool. Stop that. Okay, so let's try using these two knobs with the EQ section of this template. So let's go over here and let's stick the other knobs. One for the high, one for the low, and okay, one for the filter section here. Okay, so let's go back and play the track and try twiddling the key knobs. Move the highs. Mid. And below. You got the feeling that I want to feel. And full turn up. So everything works as expected. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun using these two knobs. I played a gig over the weekend. It was a small house party for a friend. I just brought my laptop and my iPad and, of course, uh, these knobs. So uh, during the start of the gig, I had a bit of a problem because I wasn't pressing down while I was turning the knobs. But you know, after the first few minutes, I got used to it. And well, I played uh, a gig that I was uh, very happy with. and. Of course, uh, it was a lot of fun because I wasn't using my finger just to drag controls on the touchscreen. I was actually using some physical knobs, which uh, not only made it look a little bit more professional, but at the same time gave me a little bit more feeling that I was really using a mixer instead of just an iPad. Now, will these knobs replace your DJ controller? Mm, at the moment, most probably not because uh, you still want to have uh, actual faders. But if they do come out with an updated version of these knobs where they make this, the gap between the bottom of the knob and your touchscreen much less, just so you don't have to press down while you're turning it. And if they come out with some tuna faders, then we'd be all set. So yeah, check out the full review over at digitaldjtips.com. Again, these are the tuna knobs from Tuna DJ Gear. Do click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again, guys.